Sarah Noah and his stalwart allies prove their mettle against the realm's fiercest warriors before finally facing Sir Maxwell, victor of the previous tourney. After a hard-fought match, the Dawn Spear emerges victorious once more. Though beaten in the end, Sarah Noah's courageous display impresses itself upon all in attendance. Any doubts concerning House Wolfort's martial might are put to rest. Thus marks an end to the tourney and the festivities as a whole. With the spirit of harmony in their hearts, the delegates of each nation make preparations for their return voyages. Alright. On to chapter 3. Seeing our honored guests off shall be your last lordly duty this day. Now, I remind you. So we just finished uh, the tourney and the celebrations. We just got to see off our guests. It is not to be taken lightly. Worry not, Benedict. They shall be sent off with all the pomp they deserve. You take to your new role well, Lord Serenoa. As I must now take to my own. Pray, visit me at the mines whenever you have the time. I like this dragon guy. Dragon, dragon, dragon guy. Oh, these two. Farewell, Frederica. May we never meet again. You're gonna get a slap. Thank you for such a productive use of our valuable time. <laughs> I do so love interminable speeches and watching brutes play at war. Truly, the spirit of Glenbrook was on display for all to see. I wonder who we get to fight them, these two. <sighs> yes. Big sigh. Oh, but I should watch my tongue. Wouldn't want her to go whimpering to brother. Oh, God. Pay my fool cousin no mind. We have work to do. Work more important than any he could hope to be trusted with. I apologize for those two. This was a fruitful day for all in attendance. And Laura? Aye, she's uh, S. Frosty's legendary commander. I am glad to hear you say so, General of Laura. I can't believe we lost. I thought you were supposed to be one of Hyzant's greatest warriors. <laughs> Our foe was a worthy one. It would be an honor to cross blades again someday. Thank you for your hospitality. Please give my regards to Lord Simon. Of course, Minister. It would seem everyone is gathered. You'll find your boats are laden with a bounty of Glenbrook's finest wares and victuals. What? We're giving out our finest wares to, to these two nations as well, after hosting a uh, tourney and a celebration. King Regna asks that you eat and drink your fill, and toast to our three nations' newfound alliance. More of that swill you call wine? I suppose I could force myself to partake. This guy's really annoying. Alas and Eric. Your king honors us with his generosity. We shall present these as offerings to the goddess of salt. The Hierophant, too, will no doubt be overjoyed. Nice. Lord Wolford, I bring a message from King Regna. Oh, what's this? The king wants to tell us something. He would have you join our guests on their return voyage to serve as their envoy. Ah, oh, so we get to go without get. Wait, who do we go with? Her? This is a great honor, my lord. You would represent our nation and speak with the king's voice. If it is His Majesty's wish, it is a duty I will gladly accept. 
but there are two vessels and only one of me. That's correct. Did King Regna say which of our honored guests I should accompany? He would leave that decision to you, Lord Wilford. Oh, decision time. Lord Falks, as representative of another of Glenbrook's high houses, will board the ship you do not. And why was House Telior not given this honor? Last I knew, our kingdom had three high houses, not two. The mere fact that you whimper those words before us is answer enough. <sighs> Good show at the tourney, Lord Saranoa. You truly are your father's son. The king has seen fit to leave this decision in your hands, and I shall not gainsay his wisdom. A lord must be worldly as well as wise. I trust you will conduct yourself as befits the lord of a high house. Thank you, Sir Maxwell, Lord Falks. The king has entrusted this decision to you, my lord. I suppose you have an idea as to why. He means to test my judgment. He is waiting to see which I choose and for what reason. So, we have to choose between going to Esfrosti and Hyzanti. I... Let's carry on first. Indeed. We are friendly with both nations now, so neither choice will earn his ire. That said, there is no telling how these relations may change going forward. Right. No doubt, the choice you make will have an effect on our own house's relationship with the nation you choose. I understand. This requires careful consideration. Benedict, gather the others. I would hear their opinions on the matter. Then we shall consult the scales of conviction. At once, my lord. Tavern is now available at the encampment. What does a tavern do? Sundry shop? Right, let's go and check out the sundry shop and the tavern. Right, let's go and check out the sundry. I'm guessing it's this guy. So we can exchange kudos for his wares. I would promote units classes here. And uh, he'll know he'll let us know when our, one of our comrades is ready. At the sundry shop you can exchange kudos for items and promote your allies. Right. Trade post. The trade post operates not on coin but kudos. These kudos can be exchanged for all sorts of items including quietus and medals. Still don't know what quietus is. Quiet oh okay. <laughs> Quietus are commands that executed immediately in battle and differ from abilities in three key ways. They do not consume a turn. They consume QP, not TP. Each Quietus may only be used once per battle. Medals are used to promote, promote a unit's class. They come in a limited quantities and new models will be added as the story pro progresses. So that means we can't promote all our units then, since they're limited quantities. We have only got 36 kudos. History of Glenbrook. Secret tactics. Scroll of Heaven. A scroll left behind a legend stress back on it contains physical information related to cavalry units and hawk riders. Hmm. I think we should get this. You will find notes as the game progresses. These notes have no direct effect on the story, but they will help you better understand New Zealand and its history. All oh, right, okay. Do the notes you collected any time by selecting more chronicles. So basically, these are just basically um, that story of of the world. Well, I guess we can't recruit anyone yet. Uh, not recruit, uh, promotes. Every unit has a class and each class is, in, is divided into ranks. Recruit, veteran and elite. 
Oh, he gets a little cape. He gets a little cape in veteran. The Renoa. Promoting a unit will increase both their stats and max TP and unlock new acquirable abilities. Raise a unit's class also changes their appearance in battle. You can only promote a unit's class if they are at or above the specific level and you have the appropriate medal. Promoting a unit's class will consume the medal. Okay, we need medal bravery and needs to be level 10. Okay, we don't need to look at this anymore because we can't, we can't do anything. So this is the, uh, the tavern. You can engage in mental mock battles at the tavern. Each battle is different, just choose the one that best suits your aims. Okay. Proficiency in melee battle will prove key to victory. Cut your teeth in this small arena before moving on to advanced trials. Okay, okay. So these are basically training training battles. And the first training level doesn't offer you any reward. The second one gives, the second one gives you fiber. Right. Let's leave this area first. We have to choose where we're going to go. And I think I've kind of decided. It seems your first test as Lord has come. Tis no small matter either. Indeed, but I needn't face it alone. I would ask each of you where you think we should go and why. State your case before the scales of conviction. Then we shall decide our destination. We take a vote and the consensus determines our action. Is that it? That is correct. So long as my allies walk by my side, their opinions carry equal weight to mine. Such is the way of House Wolfort. As Lord, I shall bear the weight of consequence for the scale's decision, whatsoever they may be. You are more serious than usual, my friend. He understands what it means to be Lord of his house. He's a grown boy now. There are no as grown up. Well. I hope you have room for a stowaway, because I'm going to. In secret, of course. I trust the new Lord Wolfort will handle the ponderous negotiations and diplomacy with grace. Don't mind you coming, Raylan. Your Highness, you cannot be... Yes, he's serious. You may stay ashore if you wish, you went. You know I cannot allow that. If you insist on going, then I shall attend you. Well then, it would seem the matter is settled. There is exactly one coin for each of us. It seems fate has conspired to bring balance to our proceedings. How curious. Curious? I see it as a sign that the heavens approve of my joining you. You are ever the optimist, my friend. <laughs> Shall we proceed, my lord? One coin, one vote. All right, so we've got to see what our allies think uh, where we should go as well. Very well. I would hear each of your thoughts on the matter in turn. Then you shall place your coin upon the scales of conviction and illuminate the road ahead. It's Frosty or Hyzanti. Would that we had the time to visit both. Although I may not have known, although I might not have my own token of conviction, it is my duty to lend an ear to their arguments. An honest exchange of opinions will hopefully lead to a decision that satisfies all who vote. All right, let's see, voting. The path of the story will be determined by the consensus of your party as played, as played out through voting scenes. Each of your allies will cast their vote according to his or her own convictions 
As a player, you will be bound to the decision, the decision of the majority. Before voting commence, you may attempt to persuade the others to change their minds. Whether or not your attempts succeed will only be revealed when the votes are cast. The strength of Serenario's conviction will affect the chances of success. The key to winning over your party is gathering the necessary information beforehand. That information may not always be found in the same room where the votes are cast. But be proactive in talking to everyone you meet on your journey. Okay. I... I kind of want to go to Hyzanti. Because there's medicine there. And it could heal... It could heal Lord Simon. And plus, S. Frosty has those two, those two uh, <laughs> people, shall I say, that are really bitchy. King Rigna expects great things of you, Lord Serena. If there is anything I can do to be your service, then please say the word. I should like to learn more about the Holy State of Byzanti. I know they lay claim to the source and plus all Nosolia's salt. I should like to know more about Frederica's home. I hear the glaring duchy of Estros is known for its fuel and freedom. Hyzanti had their freedom, like, um, they don't judge you by birth, I think, if I remember correctly. I should like to hear more about our home of Glenbrook. Are there any problems I should be aware of? Ooh, I think we want to go Hyzanti. I'm leaning towards Hyzanti. But of course, your curiosity is only na natural, seeing as your domain shares a border with the holy state itself. Byzanti is a very devout nation that reserves the goddess of salt and her teachings. The citizens are her followers, and they are led by her oracle, the Horrorflat, along with the rest of the saintly seven. Byzanti itself is mostly a desert wasteland with the exception of the source. They claim complete ownership over the salt within it, declaring it to be a divine boon from the goddess. Therefore making the Norzolia's most wealthy and powerful nation, I heard that the people there enjoy peaceful and prosper prosperous, prosperous lives. I can't even say that word for some reason. Don't know why. You heard right, but appearances can sometimes be a deceiving. As you may already know, it's probably nest Best not to take a Rosellen like Lady Frederica should you choose to go to Hyzanti. Oh, okay. Ooh. Pray forgive me. I forget my myself sometimes. I hope my foolish ramblings have not clouded your judgment. The decision is yours to make, Lord Serenoa, and I'm sure you will choose most wisely. Oh, okay. So Frederica shouldn't go to Hyzanti? This is Franny, Lord Walford. I know your position as head of your house comes with many responsibilities. But being party to Roland's fancies is not one of them. I hope you understand that. Roland is doing what he can for, for the kingdom in his own way, as his older brother, I'm sure you can see that. Roland may be a prince, but he's also like a brother to me. I swear to do all I can in the ser service of the crown. I appreciate your concern, Prince Fanny and hope that you and I can be friends as well, just like our fathers before us. I feel like... I feel like uh, we should tell him we can be friends. Oh, you, you cannot win my favour as you have my brothers. House Wolfram may be a vassal to the court crown, but they also possess a very special power. Closing up to the royal family would have nothing but arouse needless suspicion. My apologies. I will be more cautious about the boundaries between the high houses and the crown, for the sake of the kingdom. I am glad we have an understanding. I hope you know that I acknowledge both the power and good faith of House Wolford. Pray, do not fan the flames of my brother's foolishness any further. Oh, crap. That wasn't good. He didn't like that. He thinks I was like... Uh, Bootlicking. 
Prince Fanny and Minister Pratu are waiting to see our esteemed guests. Waiting to see off our esteemed guests. They are they said to ask them if you have any questions on the matter. Okay. This is Ecuador or Erador? Listen, lad. Can't say very can't very well say how Zanti holds much appeal to me. Costly and Etsam are too clever by half. I'm sure the people of Esfos will give a warm reception, even if their weather won't. Hmm. The way I see it, you can't go wrong with a visit to Esfos. I wish to visit the holy state of Hyzanti. Ah, you want to go to Hyzanti, do you? Care telling me why, my lord? Oh, a third option unlocked. The sand and sun must, must make people of, different, of a different sort there than here. It would be interesting to meet them. I've long wanted to visit the source. It is the cornerstone of all life in North Zulia after all. Stories of the miracles performed in the Ministry of Medicine have piqued in my interest. Such knowledge could help our soldiers in common fight the light. Yes, the third one. You're on to something. Aye, doubtless we can learn from the minds of the Ministry. Would that we had such gifted healers and majors at our disposal. M might be we could ask them for a book. But always being of the mind and the best learning is done through doing. I've made up my mind. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on the matter, my lord. Oh, he's undecided now. Roland. Roland wants to go to S. Frosty. S. Frosty? S. Frost. Doubtless S. Frost will be a close partner in the days ahead. It would be wise to see how they live, don't you think? No. We're going to Hyzanti. Oh, another option unlocked. First one is I just have a feeling the salt from the source has made them prosperous. Prosperous. I would be interested in seeing how that wealth manifests itself. I would be fascinated to see a society where everyone is truly equal. Yes, I like that as well. I want to see that. Certainly. Indeed. They say Hyacinthi is a country without kings or nobles. It's hard to imagine. But why imagine when we could see it with our own eyes? Hmm. An interesting proposal. I wonder what everyone else thinks. You've given me much to consider, friend. Okay. One more. Uh, that is Huet. Lord Saranoa. Esfros soldiers are said to be among the strongest of all Nazolia. However, that is only hearsay. I mean to judge them for myself. Ah, so she wants to see if they're really strong. But, nah. We're going high Zanti. Oh. Third option's not unlocked. I wish to see how they touted, how their touted equal, equality works in practice. For now it is only words to me. I would like to visit the source. There is nothing else like it in the world. No. Equality is. Hmm. Indeed, to hear it from Hyzantians, their society must seem like a paradise. I find it difficult to imagine. I can scarce imagine a way of life that not dictated by nobility and birth. Without such a life, I would never have found myself in Prince Roland's service. I would have never found his pride. Okay. Which is indeed full. And we've got. I think. This person? Is it the ninja? Lord Anna. Saranoa. It makes no difference to her. Still, I would like to hear your thoughts on the matter, my lord. Hyzanti. They say Hyzanti is the nation of salt and sand. Do you have a reason to go there? I hear everyone is treated as equals. I'd like to see the truth of that claim. I can scarce imagine as much sand that I would like to see it with my own eyes. I wish to see what miracles are performed at the ministry and learn what kind of magic medicine enables them. This is more important. Ministry of uh, Magic and Medicine. Indeed. 
Any knowledge we can gain would surely come in handy during times of need. Correct. Right. So do we go here now? I don't need to persuade these people. Let's see what why they want to go. Lord Serenella. Byzantine's Ministry of Medicine is said to be a beacon of progress in both medicine and magic. I believe we could benefit greatly from seeing the fruits of their knowledge with our own eyes. Yes. Benedict. Great minds think alike, Benedict. Serenella. I've always wondered what I might when I might visit the country where my mother was born. Oh so Federica's mum was born in uh Hyzanti, but people don't like Rosellen. There. How did she spend her youth? I would very much like to see. We're gonna go Hyzanti for you. Lord Serenoa, hello. Until now, Federica's position has offered her a few chances to visit Hyzanti. Deepening her relationship relations with the Holy State would doubtless be to your benefit as well. Why not use the opportunity to let Frederica realise a long held wish in the meantime? Cool. All done. Let's see how everyone votes. Everyone should be going to Hyzanti, right? It is time to cast our votes. Do we journey to the Grand Duchy of Esfrost? Or the holy state of Hyzant. The frosty Esfrost or the sandy Hyzanti. Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I stand by my decision. What? He wants he still wants to go to Esfrost. What? Okay, alright, these people want to go to Hyzanti anyway. You have my vote. Oh yes. One more to Hyzanti. Please forgive me. Oh no. Yes, Frost. Eradol, what are you gonna choose? Forgive me, lad. Ah. Oh. Oh, we got four to three, I think. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Four to three to Izandi, if I'm correct. Oh, yes. That's where I wanted to go, Izandi. The way forward is decided. We journey to Hyzant. Oh, it's Hyzant. I don't I'm not supposed to pronounce it E. We have decided. We set sail for the holy state of Hyzant. Whether or not it proves to be the right choice will depend on our actions. I hope it's the right I choice. Trust in you all. We are ready to set sail, Lord Patriot. Very good, my lord. When you pay respects to the Holy One and the Saintly Seven, remember that you do so on behalf of our king. Lord Serenoa, we are honored that you would choose to grace our nation with your presence. That said, I must offer you a warning as well. It may be in Lady Frederica's best interests to remain here in Glenbrook. Oh dear. I fear there may be some uh, complications were she to come to Hyzant. Did I right, make the right choice? <gasps> she is half sister to the Archduke and my betrothed besides. What complications could there possibly be? None if I had any say in it. However, the matter is more delicate than that. Your lady's hair would draw attention. Unfortunately, none of it favorable. But uh, isn't everyone treated equally? My mother's hair, the pink locks of the Roselle. 
Mother once told me of how her people fled High Sand. Then you know how the Roselle are viewed in our nation. How the gospel of the goddess regards them as sinners. Oh dear, that's not good. Yes, I do. But I am from Esfrost, and I assure you I have committed no sins. Of course, my lady. Very well then. I will do all in my power to see your visit is a pleasant one. Maybe we should have went to Esfros to keep her safe. Thank you. Pray forgive my outburst. You've no need to apologize. Still, I must ask, are you certain? I must go. I would see with my own eyes. See where and how my mother and her people suffered. 